Hey, Canucks fans. I was at the Canucks Bruins game at Rogers Arena earlier tonight. Bruins end up winning 3 1. Canucks played okay. They hung with the, the best team in the league. And I think you know what we're going to do here. We're going to break down Linus Allmark's goal, goalie goal, into the empty net. It's the first time I've seen a goalie goal live. And yes, it does not hurt the Canucks' chances of moving up in the draft lottery. Um, but uh, still, it was remarkable to see it live. A lot of Bruins fans in the in the stands. And the Canucks, they were there. It was 2-1. One minute left. Archer Silovs, who played a good game, on the bench for the extra attacker. So let's watch it once through, and then I'll break it down a couple of times. Listen to the crowd. Uh, Quinn Hughes is mad there. Listen to the crowd. Look how happy they are. Brandon Carlo jumping up and down. Look at all the Bruins fans. And look at them. There, There's Marchand's in there. Bergeron's in here. So we're going to look at a couple replays here. On this first one, they put the puck up to Besser. And Besser put it anywhere except to the goaltender. But Besser tips it in towards Allmark. And then you see Allmark. It looks like he's simply going to play it on his back hat, maybe dump it into this corner, give it to Carlo here, even ring it around this way. But it looks like the way he's doing, he's just going to put it into that corner and let Carlo ring it around the boards. But then watch what happens. He quickly shifts. So by that one, that 180 degree, 180 degree shift in his hips, now his legs are pointing the other way. And suddenly look at, his, look at him move his hands. Now he's moving into forehand position and boom, just like that. Now he's getting ready to go. He's got both hands on the stick. Pedersen knows what's going to happen. Besser knows what's going to happen. Garland knows what's going to happen. Because you're going to see these three guys come in and try and jump at the same time to try and block this shot attempt. So there, Omar, is, he's got his right hand up at the top of the stick, left hand down below for all the strength, right? You can't go the other way. This is pretty sure a left-handed shot. So you have your, your lower hand down below for all the strength. He's going to... You'll see it on a different replay. He's going to drop that left knee. Remember my theory about as soon as you go down on one knee, it means you are you mean business and you're going to put more power into it. Look, Garland's already got his stick up. He knows what's coming. Petey's got his stick up. Bester's like, oh my gosh, am I going to get smoked in the face here? And then, okay, so there we go. So there's uh, Allmark's left knee down. There's the puck. It's somewhere up here. Garland's got his stick up. Bester's got his stick up. Petey's got to stick up. I'm not sure what Petey was thinking here. It's like kind of when you're trying to block a, a field goal or an extra point in football and you're nowhere close to the ball, but you still jump anyways. So look at this. Three cuts guys jumping. Quinn Hughes has already pivoted and he's going back because he knows that Allmark is going for the goal. Carlo's like, I, well, I guess I'm not getting it here in the corner. This guy's not sure what's going on. So let's just see. So there. Bester turns around. He's like, oh, oh. Miller's like, I don't think you're going to get this. Hughes... I think he's trying to find the puck. Look, now Hughes is looking straight. He's not even looking up. He's looking up. He sees the puck's going up somewhere. Hughes is looking straight. And then now look, Hughes realizes behind him, these two Boston guys are there for insurance. All these guys are saying, oh no. He's, he's already excited. And then boom, there the puck comes into frame. He's got his hands up. He's pointing at it. Goalie's like, uh, I'm going to see something really cool here. And Hughes just watches it go. And it, it basically goes in the middle of the net, as you saw it. Look at all the Boston guys. And look at Hughes, winds up. And now as he's doing this, oh, I don't know what happened there. As he's doing this, the referee kind of covers up, you know, his, his chest and his private part so he doesn't get smoked. And then Hughes puts the puck in the corner. And look at them. Allmark's happy. Carlo's happy. Forbert's happy. Then I think that, yeah, 37. So that's Bergeron that jumps in. Carlo starts jumping up and down. And then look, you know, you know when... One thing I tell new people when they watch a game is if you're not sure who scored or who, if someone deflected it or tipped it in, always look to see who, usually whoever scored the goal is the first one to go get the fist bumps by the bench. And here, of course, you see Linus Allmark being the first one to, to go for the fist bumps. All the Canucks players are dejected. All these Boston fans who let them in there um, are, are all happy. And look, the coaches are, are beside themselves. And they, look at even the trainers that kind of looking up in the screen. I'm not sure why he's not paying attention to more of his teammates here. But there we go. And they're going to, yes. And it's the first goalie goal in four years since 2019, Pekka Rene. So let's see. Oh, here, here's the best look. So that looks like Garland who puts it. And now, again, uh, no one around Besser. So Besser has a lot of time 
and maybe he is trying to deflect it off to the side or off into the corner, but no, instead, it kind of just goes up. I guess it kind of goes to the side. And right there, again, you can see Allmark, instead of just playing it, and he could, I guess he could have quickly moved his stick to the other side and then shot it into the corner again for Carlo to ring it around here. Carlo as a lefty could have simply just taken it and rung it around the boards. But you can already see him starting to think, because look, he's got no one here. Miller's here, Hughes is back here, and that's that's probably Kuzmenko, and then you got PD, Besser, and Garland. So did you guys see how quickly he shifted his hips? Watch his hips one more time. He goes from here, and in, in a matter of a split second, he goes to here. So now you know he's aiming for it. There's still another 20 feet before anyone's coming. Look at that. You can even see that he's looking straight at the net, and now he's moving his hands, and look, he's going to drop his left hand right. Actually, you don't see it there. What went too far? Well, let's watch that one more time. Vester tips it in. Allmark pivots. And actually, no, his left hand's lower already. His right hand's higher. And then this is kind of what now the best view of it. Watch his left pad. He's going to drop there. That's the I mean business pose once again. And actually, this is a better look. Actually, Petey doesn't look that far. But you got Garland, who's not the tallest guy. Vester, who's okay size. Petey, not the tallest guy. All of them throwing their sticks and uh, into the air. And there, as you see, Hughes doing that pivot. Miller has no chance. And then the puck goes over them. And then into the net. And Allmark is celebrating. So, again, as, as a live spectator, it was kind of surreal to see. To see that happen in, before my very eyes. Wasn't too disappointed with the result because I thought the Canucks played hard. But ultimately, at this point, we do want them to be losing games as opposed to winning. I just didn't think that I would see a goalie goal um, live um, in person. So there we go. Linus Allmark becoming the first goalie to score a goal in the NHL since Pekka Rene in 2019. Canucks fans or hockey fans, hope you like these breakdown videos. I got good feedback saying a couple of things. It doesn't always have to be goals. And I'm glad that there was something remarkable in tonight's game that I could talk about. And also the feedback was let the original replay go through the first time and then break it down one or two times after that. It doesn't have to be three or four times, and I think that's great feedback as well. So there we go. Let me know what you noticed about this play. Let me know, honestly, if you thought that this was a possibility when you saw the puck going in to the zone, if you thought that Omar was going to do that. And uh, let's talk about his technique. That is not an easy thing to do. I don't play goal. I don't think I could even do that regularly if, just if I had my regular stick. Uh, but you could see that these guys are strong guys, and Omar saw that he had the time, he had the space, and he definitely had the strength to, to launch that over everyone. And and there we go. Boston wins 3-1. Boston fans are happy. And I got to see a goalie go live. Shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Perform and Transform, Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Justin Credible, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame and Franchise members. And thanks to all of you for supporting me on this channel. Always appreciate you. Never take you for granted. Channel did well today with my video on the trade for Vitaly Kratsov. Now we're climbing closer to 9,900. Might hit that in the next few days or so. And then as an all out uh, uh, march to 10 clay. So thanks again. As always, you can subscribe, you can like this video, leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership. But most importantly, leave a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts before, during, and after this crazy goalie goal. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Have a great night. God bless and go Canucks go.